this is not a how-to channel. At least, this is not a how-to project. This is more of a how we did it project. Um, I would say a lot of things on this channel are not how-to. It's maybe how not to. So. Quick update on, I guess, where we're at, what we're doing. Uh, so JD and I, we were working on the bearing. We were unable to get the uh, bearing races out, and I know, know what you're gonna say. Uh, replace the bearing, or replace the races. That's just a smart thing to do. Totally agree. I bought them, I had them. I didn't really have a press to get them out. Uh, there's a lot of ideas on how to get them out, but they look perfect, okay? There was, I, we couldn't feel anything on them. Did give it a quick test drive with just the front shocks taken care of, and I think the ride's a little bit better. Anyway, that's where we're at. But now, as you can see, I'm working on this back airbag now. Um, let me show you what I've been up to the last couple days while it's been raining and just horrible out. This is the airbag I took out. I suppose this is why it was leaking. This is the top of it. I cut it out. You'll find out why here in a minute, but um, yeah. Years ago when I first got the bus, I put some uh, JB weld around here to try and seal it up. Yeah, that probably didn't do enough. Maybe if I would have JB welded it all the way around, it might have actually sealed, but uh, it needed to be replaced, obviously. So, got that taken care of, but now I'm trying to get the bottom part off. And I've been stuck on this for days now. Let me show you exactly where I'm at. Look at this, just so we know, safety first. We got this just holding the tag uh, up a little bit. Then we got blocking there, block, we're good to go. We are not relying on just jacks alone, that's silly. So you can see the one bolt hole up there, got that one out no problem. Uh, but where's the other bolt? Oh, there it is, there it is. Guess what you can't get in there, pretty much anything. As you can see there, there's not really room enough for a socket. And there's not enough room in between those two rails to get a wrench in there. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to cut it off. And I'm gonna use this tool. I think I can get this in there. The Dremel's too slow and I can't get it uh, on the actual bolt. And my angle grinder, I can't get in there. So, uh, so we're gonna go ahead and use this. Wish me luck. Oh. Never mind, that ain't gonna work either. Maybe. Maybe the Dremel is gonna have to be the tool and it's just gonna take forever. happy now uh, it's been after dinner now I've been playing around with different things but I got it off and the bolt is still in there I still can't get it off I think I will be able to now but check this out so this is what's left of that airbag look at how bad this is it's horrible and here's what's left of the uh, of this like all this stuff was just falling down it was just completely disintegrated here. Look at this. So, uh, I think all I have to do is just pound this out with a hammer. Where's my hammer? Here's my tool. Uh, actually, even I, I cut this wrench thinking I'd be able to get in there. That would be enough leverage to get it in, but that didn't really work out. And then I just got frustrated and, and I just pried it up with this uh, with this guy right here, and it came up. Let's see here. Yep, look at that, there it goes. Stupid little bugger. I tried absolutely everything on this thing. Ugh. Okay, clean that up, and uh, let's get a new airbag on there. So, here's the new bag. New bag, old bag. 
Uh, this one's aluminum. This one, the bottom part is plastic. It's still metal on top. The shop I got it from said, says it's an MC12 tag. Uh, there's part numbers and stuff. I don't know, made in Mexico. I tend to believe them, it's a good shop. Okay, uh, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put a bolt on the, or not a bolt, a nut on the bottom one. And it looks like I gotta raise the tear, tag axle back up. So I got the top mounted, or at least connected. Okay, so at this moment I've got kind of the top part of uh, this one, the, the top part, uh, I got the bolt, or the, not the bolt, the nut, a little bit on there, and then I've got the uh, bottom stud in the hole here, so it should line up. Nothing like working when your fingers are freezing. Okay, it's been a while. Fought with it some more. Got it in there. Let's take a look. Maybe you hear the air compressor running. I've got the uh, auxiliary fill going. I wanna see if there's any leaks in here without firing on the bus. <clears throat> so, this is what we did. We got that line hooked up. We got, uh, let's get some better light in here. Got that part hooked up. And there's one over here that's snugged up too. Now don't worry about the gap there. That gap is normal. This is a completely sealed unit, unlike the other airbags in this bus. I don't know why they're not all this way. It would make changing it way easier. But whatever. MCI, you do you. So, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, I'll check back if there's any more leaks. Other than that, I may try and put the, uh, the shock in here the new shock in here and then then we can move on to the drive axle you can see one of the reasons why i'm doing the shocks look at that tread wear it's just all goofy everything i read says that is shock issues so yeah i'm looking forward to taking those off oh, actually i'm not but i'm looking forward to the end result the better ride they say it's going to be like 50 or 60 this weekend Oh, this is just taking forever and I hate the cold and the wet. Tell you what, it's April, it's showering. Those flowers in May just better be amazing. <laughs> 